judged by the YouTube handle Nightfall Report. Yeah, I don't know. It's not playing. She goes by the YouTube handle Nightfall Report. Stay away from me, lady! Stay away from me! Get this lady away from me! Get her away! Man, that man's whole fucking report, dude, is such a fucking goof. I'm getting beat on. What's your mission? My mission right now is to keep you from harassing small children. So we can start asking you why you need a bigger bra than Kate does. It's Kate. You know, masculine Kate, date of your existence Kate, your every night obsession Kate. Uh, it's hard to give you because you're a pedophile. That's basically how that works. She's just trolling him one way or the other. I was the constitutional law scholar today, bitches. It's like going to war with a fucking nuclear power. That has lost its fucking mind. Here to be a spectacle, not a role model. <laughs> I don't know. I had some difficulty with that intro, so that was fun. <laughs> Only on my end, so who knows? I think that uh, Chili has hacked my computer, and we need to call the FBI and possibly file a federal lawsuit because uh, I'm having technical difficulties. And um, the only thing that I can attribute technical difficulties to at this juncture would be Chili because I don't like him. Um, I'm just going to go by his logic and everything I do from now on. What's up, guys? We're live. Yep, we're here. Shizzle, my friend. Um, it's faux fizzle tonight. It's faux fizzle. I it's have Phil Chili's Fizzle. toothless picture. <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was coming for my teeth, that was a that was a bold move because at least I have them for the time being. I don't want to say that too loud because you never know. Um, he'll knock you unconscious, lady. He will. He will. Uh, yeah, no, I was talking before the show with somebody and I like made the comment of like when we move on from Chile and they were like, there's no way like you can't move on from Chile. Right. And I was like, I mean, at some point, yeah, we move on from everyone. I already have somebody else kind of in the, uh, on the radar here that I've been kind of looking at that I think is pretty promising, uh, for the next round of fun for me. But, um, it's hard to move on from this right now. Cause he's just won't stop giving us content. He won't. And, um, he he yeah. refuses to stop giving you content. Well, it is his saying, we don't stop, right? Or, you know, it's like, so, I mean, it's true. He, like, he does not stop. He will not stop giving me content. Um, so that's nice of him anyway. I do appreciate that. And thanks to, you know, for the longest time, I was like, fuck anyone who solicits funds. And then we started doing it kind of as a joke to Chili. My God, do we have some plans You know, that thing we were talking about that I was going to buy, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah. To debunk the story. So I did it. I did it. Ooh. I put in the, uh, I put in the order. I think it was yesterday. Uh, maybe the day before. Um, and uh, it, that's going to be a fantastic video when that comes out. What is that this week? I don't know. So some like I've done these in the past and like the turnover is it's variable. So sometimes you get the back really quick. This particular one, because it's kind of high profile, I'm being I'm being so vague and cheeky here, guys, but because it's so high profile, I anticipate that it may be a slightly longer turnaround. Um, certainly not more so than the last time that I did something similar to this, though, because that guy was also like hooked on crack, you know. As as you should be, I guess. <laughs> we had to actually chase him down to try to get that. Um, we had to actually chase him down. So I don't think we'll have to chase this guy down, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. 
So shout out to the frog, you guys. He somehow procured um, a little bit of a snippet of this ridiculous uh, court hearing that we had the other day on, on June 10th. The, the, the court hearing heard around the world now. Um, and he uh, he put it up, so I appreciate it. Um, I uh, I suspect, well, I don't suspect, I, I can tell from this video. So I was watching it today. This is Chili filming himself in court yet again. And you're going to find this funny, guys, when we get all the court audio. Because at one point, the judge and one of the of the bailiffs actually calls him out for streaming this hearing. And he makes a big deal like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And the judge is like, okay, like, you can't stream or record this without court permission. He's like, I'm not doing that. Well, you're a fucking liar, Chili, because you, you did. You did. So, I don't know. Um did everybody see well, this already? Let me know in the chat. He's, he's filming his hands, so clearly it's chilly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hasn't figured out how to screen record anything. So, like, you could always tell when it's from his vantage point because he's using two phones to record himself because he's, like, king of all boomers. <laughs> like, it's not that, it's he, not that hard. He right? should it's develop cool. an app for that. Yeah, yeah. Develop a screen recording app. It would be groundbreaking, Chili. So I, should we play a little bit of this? I really don't want to play like, I don't know. I hate I hate the sound of my own voice, but I guess we'll play a little bit of this here. So this starts off. This is like, he's already gone through his entire testimony pretty much. Um, and it starts off in the middle of mine. So, well, kind of in the middle beginning of mine. So like, it starts off with me. I'm looking forward to putting his out too, because it was ridiculous. But I guess, I guess we can listen to this. I guess we can do that. All right, we'll do that. Yeah. I'm he, sorry, in the, in the what? In the Ironton Tribune, Ironton, Ohio. Um, he runs a YouTube channel with approximately 41,000 subscribers. He often live broadcasts himself to hundreds of people. Um, he is credited on some small bit roles in some um, feature films, uh, not feature films, but independent films on IMDb. Uh, he purports himself to be an entrepreneur. He purports himself to be a constitutional law scholar, despite having absolutely no um, law education whatsoever nor any credentials um so mr de castro runs a youtube channel by the name of delete laws it is a generally anti-government anti-police um youtube channel i do run the uh youtube channel national report i've been doing so for approximately three years generally we take a more i would say balanced um sort of approach to the community that he's in which would be the first amendment auditors sometimes if you're in the sovereign Right there, what, what what that starts off with, just so that everybody knows the context there. I start off by explaining why um, Chile, I consider Chile to be a public figure. And I kind of pull things that I know would satisfy at least a limited uh, public figure from my limited inf you know knowledge of, of the situation. So I bring up things like he's been, you know, he's been written about in the news. And that's why I'm saying the Ironton Tribune, uh, that he, you know, has a YouTube channel where he goes public in front of all these people that, you know, he... Uh, that he's credited as some um, film roles at some point, you know, just kind of establishing that he's at least a limited public figure as far as I am concerned. Um, and that's what, what I started off there with. I did not bring up the whole uh, public office thing because he hasn't run for public office. So, I mean, you can say that you're going to run for public office. I, it doesn't mean anything until you actually do. And obviously he's never going to do that because he's not qualified, nor does he actually have any intentions. He just wants your money. All right. Sorry. Just wanted to clarify that. citizens. So we, what we do essentially is we research these individuals who go out in public with this uh, anti-government, anti-police rhetoric, and we try to present more of a robust um, sort of picture as to who they are as individuals, what may be driving their rhetoric, and let you know, viewers then make a determination as to what they really want to listen to as far as what they're saying. Mr. DeCastro was submitted to me by my viewers approximately two months ago. It took a little bit of research. I have not called his friends and family. He can only reference one phone call with David Condon because that is the only phone call that I made. Um, it was directly to question him about a failed venture that looks quite a bit like a Ponzi scheme uh, for an app called Coded Friends that never came into fruition. Uh, it looks like he took some investor money, he inserted it into some um, kind of low-level promotional materials and then was never able to come up with a product. So Mr. Condon and I did have a conversation. He relayed to me, he didn't really understand the purpose of what he was investing in. He did have good things to say about uh, Mr. DeCastro. Through other avenues, I have speak, spoken to people who have alleged that Mr. DeCastro has 
uh, engaged in things like blackmail in the past. Um, he is the recipient of over a dozen harassment um, and uh, restraining orders over his lifetime. Um, he does have a conviction, I believe, out of, um, I want to say Alaska for harassment and stalking. We pull a lot of these public records. We, we provide them on YouTube. Uh, Mr. DeCastro has actually made it quite clear in his testimony his intentions here today. What he wants to do is chill my free speech. He wants to prohibit me from putting this information out in public so that he can control the narrative with his viewers and continue to solicit funds from them. I have not made $6,000 um, on speaking with them. My channel is monetized. We make a very small amount of money. I maintain a full-time job. I'm a property manager. This is not my... Uh, only avenue as far as um, any sort of revenue would be concerned. Um, I have not called Mr. DeCastro. I'm happy to provide the court with my phone number. Um, he will not have my phone number registered on those call logs. What Mr. DeCastro is leaving out on the three different occasions while broadcasting himself to hundreds of people, Mr. DeCastro spoke out his own phone number. So he did that as recently as last night. Um, he has obviously, he's a divisive individual um, who is engaged in some activities at a large amount of people uh take exception to I i'm sorry i, I have to see it was hearing my voice it was poetic justice that the night before the hearing he literally read out his phone number on his live stream well that was it was amazing to me the way that he is insisting that i mean and he kind of vacillates between blaming me for everything that's happening to him troll wise and then conceding that it's some other people maybe too and then going back to blaming me and saying that i'm directing it all i, I just don't understand how somebody could be so stupid i'll, I'll let it play because i even at some point kind of get i guess it would be inappropriate for court and say like if he doesn't want phone calls from strangers on the internet then it may be advantageous not to put your number out on the internet just a thought which probably wasn't the most uh, professional or appropriate thing i could say in court but i'm not a lawyer guys I don't even whatever you called him 500 times so yeah right, right, right no you know what i did do 500 times and it's gonna drive me nuts listening to this audio is say um in court <laughs> that's something i did like fucking 500 times i get <laughs> nervous guys okay i'm not a lawyer i get nervous i could point to to no less than five other youtube channels that also cover him in a negative light um so when he speaks out his phone number in public like that, he is going to attract people. I have no control over who calls him. I don't. Um, I would suggest to Mr. DeCastro that if he doesn't want to get calls from strangers on the internet, it would be prudent to not broadcast your number on the internet. But I have not directed anyone to do that. I have not engaged in that myself. And I have no control over what other people do. He is continuing to reference my Discord. I, so I have what's called a Discord server. It is essentially a messaging and community sort of app. I have approximately 1,600 people in that Discord. I do not control what they say or do. We have uh, very basic guidelines as far as we don't allow racist or homophobic or any sort of ableist speech in there. And we don't allow credible threats of violence. Outside of that, I do not restrict uh, the free speech of my users. Um, they're not They're not tracking him by any nefarious or illegal means. Uh, the name Mass Hole Mafia Hit Squad obviously is satirical. It's, you know, it's because uh, this is sort of the uh, um, the way that we are framed by people such as Mr. DeCastro. They, they treat us as sort of, a, I believe we've actually been called a mafia by some of the subjects that we cover. So it is satirical. Um, it's been in existence for three years now, far before I even know who Mr. DeCastro was. So we did not create that with the, you know, explicit... Um, uh, idea of, you know, following him, he, but he's referencing something called Chili Watch. It's in there. It's where people watch his videos. Any time that they are tracking any of his movement, um, and I say tracking very loosely, what they are doing is they are watching him broadcast himself. So this is publicly available information that Mr. DeCastro, again, himself is broadcasting to the internet. Um, as far as the uh, Airbnb incident, I would direct you back to the screenshot when you do receive that. They didn't take pictures of his house. What they did was they posted a um, listing for the Airbnb and said this matches where he's broadcasting. That was not me. He, he like I had nothing to do with that. I didn't see anything at that point worth deleting. Why is he shaking his head now? That's what happened. Um, I don't know much about um, anyone contacting the Airbnb. I would surmise that if they were contacted, it's because Mr. DeCastro is currently on the 
run from a warrant out of Ohio. He is carrying firearms that he did not procure in a legal way. Um, he does have two permanent restraining orders taken out on him out of the state of California. I've been in contact uh, with um, at least one of the uh, plaintiffs in those cases. They are terrified of him. Um, and he is carrying a firearm anyway. He waves them around on these live streams a lot. So I would surmise that if someone had contacted the Airbnb, it was because he was broadcasting himself, waving around a firearm, and they were concerned by that. Um, I have never threatened any physical harm on Mr. DeCastro. However, Mr. DeCastro on several occasions has made threats to me. During the parade incident that he references, he threatened to knock me on the ground, knock me unconscious. He asked the police for um, permission to pepper spray me. I never bumped into him. What he was doing, and a police officer actually witnessed this as well as I have a witness here, the colleague that he said that he was here to phone with is actually in the courtroom today. What Mr. DeCastro was doing as I was exercising my First Amendment right to be in public and film him, uh, right, um, is he would stop short, he would take a couple steps back, and he would body check himself into me. At one point, he elbowed me so hard that my phone fell out of my hand. That's on camera as well. Um, he did go to the police. It's not a criminal report that they took. It was an investigative report. I spoke to them. I explained to them that he was broadcasting himself at a Memorial Day parade, again, openly in public. Um, during the course of this Memorial Day parade, the um, Stoneham police received, I believe, somewhere around 12 to 14 calls about Mr. DeCastro because he was approaching families with young children and yelling at the children and scaring them, telling them that the police will rape them, that the police will put them in a cage, don't trust the police, above parents' objections. So when I saw this, I did at that point go to essentially flip the script on Mr. DeCastro and engage in the activities that the First Amendment auditors would, which is to stand in public and film and engage at a reasonable distance. Um, the only person that was battered during that entire you know, incident was me. He shoved me several times, he body checked me, he elbowed me. This was witnessed by probably hundreds of people as well as several, um, you know, um, officers in uniform. Uh, Mr. DeCastro also has sent me what he called his uh, official cease and desist. There were some implicit threats in that as well. If you'd like, I can read that to you right now. You can read that into the yep. sure. He goes, all right, two mass hover Well, um, was this communicated to you via email? The, yeah, this, so essentially what he had done is he had requested that Josh Abrams, who was in the courtroom today, send this to me via Facebook Messenger as an official cease and desist. When I then went up in public and said, you're sending me an official cease and desist third party through Facebook Messenger and you consider yourself to be a constitutional law expert, the next day he responded by then copying the majority of this into an email and then emailing it to me. He is also copied and pasted this exact, um, what I'm about to read you in its entirety, and he sent it to three other individuals as well. And is this from an email address or is, is this from a... DeleteLaws at gmail.com, yes, sir. What is it? DeleteLaws at gmail.com. Okay. Um, and when did you receive this? Um, I'm sorry. I don't, I, I actually had this sent back over to me. I don't have great cell phone service in here. How do you it, know that this email was uh, sent by Mr. DeCastro? Um, the email address. Um, so the original communication that I received um, was, again, Facebook Messenger, third party through Joshua Abrams, who indicated uh, Jose DeCastro has asked me to send this to you. I then further corroborated that it did come from him because three, I mean, I'm sorry, two other individuals, a YouTuber that goes by the name Blue Bacon and a YouTuber that goes by the name of Uncle Artie, they received verbatim this exact same message from DeleteLaws at gmail.com, which is listed or was at one point listed on his YouTube channel publicly at his email address. Okay. So it goes to Masshole Report. It's been brought to my attention that you reported I have a criminal record. You have 24 hours to retract your statement or face a lawsuit for defamation. If you do not retract your statement publicly, I will file a lawsuit against you for defamation via slander. Your continued policy and practice standard of operation proves a pattern of harassment. And at this point, I'm willing to take I don't know if we need to go through the whole season to because I've actually, I've actually read it out before. I think I'm going to play this on like double speed because it's an hour long. And I also want to talk about the, like the ridiculous new thing that he's doing to separate people from their money. I don't have all night. So I'm going to, I'm going to speed this up a little bit just so we can go through it.
legal action. And I would pause and just interject here that at this point, I've had no contact with um, Mr. DeCastro, so this is the first point of contact right here. Um, I've documented that I've asked you to leave me alone. I've documented that I forced to leave with vulgarity, told you to leave me alone, and then I've documented the last time you contacted me to leave you alone. And again, I would interject and say that he is saying these things, but he could provide no proof of any contact at this point because I had not contacted him. This is the first time that I've received any contact whatsoever. You are disseminating lies about me, and that is defamation. The truth is the only metric that saves you from defamation, and I'm telling you I have no criminal record. I've already downloaded your video. You have 24 hours to retract your statement or face legal action. My legal team has been blind to carbon copied on this email. On Monday, dot, 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 I will sue you, dot, dot, dot. It's that simple. I do not wish to have any contact with you. I do not wish to return correspondence from you. If you continue to harass me publicly, you will end up in federal district court. I will check your social media channels for the retraction. If it is not complete and full, you'll be served a lawsuit next week. I don't care if I win. I care that you have to hire a lawyer. I care that I extend the process for as long as I can to drain you. Now, for the last time, you stupid, retarded fuck. I'm not there when when i read out that you know he has written that he just he says that he doesn't care that he wins he just wants to extend the process to date to uh, drain me he shakes his head in agreement like are you that stupid he's like yep i said he that is. i stand he by it like, yeah that is just a, a wonderful avenue to uh really throw out these frivolous freaking lawsuits chili when you are proudly saying yes I, I i am simply suing people to inconvenience and financially harm them like yeah that's uh that's paper terrorism buddy I like when he said that the screenshots were of the Airbnb listing and he shook his head no when they're literally a screenshot of the Airbnb listing. Right, 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 right. Right. I, mean, I can't believe that. Like, I, I honestly felt bad. I at, like when we left, I thanked the judge and the COs and the clerk and just about anyone in there for their patience like 20 times because I felt bad that we were there. Like, I can't even imagine having to sit through that for as long as these people had to. Like, they just want to go to work and, you know, hear their cases. This took up like a grand total of probably four or five hours out of the court's time for nothing for nothing, for internet drama. Like, it's embarrassing. I was embarrassed to be there at some points, honestly. Like, just kind of embarrassing to be there. They they handled it really well, given the circumstances. And I think they were super thorough so that, you know, he doesn't have any wiggle room to pull some more crazy nonsense. Right. Oh, my God. AFA is in the chat. He wouldn't drain you, Kate. He only drains men frequently. <laughs> <laughs> there are rumors that I have a penis. I just want to throw that out there. I can neither confirm nor deny that. But you lost 17 kids. I think it was 25. 25 children. And by lost, <laughs> I mean I football punted them out windows. Just like, boom, baby. Needed them. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, baby eating. That's what I do in my spare time. interested in any relationship with you and i continually told you this i don't care that you're a loser and you have nothing going on with your life you have no motivation i don't care i will be checking your social media channels tomorrow i hope you think i'm kidding i hope you think that you can do what you've done and get away with it you piece of shit now leave me the fuck alone you're damn lucky we have a legal system and i'm a man of law and order or i would let you know when i was coming so i could see the look of fear on your face as i closed it you retarded imbecile the information you're getting off the internet isn't true dumb fuck you'll find out in court if you don't retract what you said about me by friday we'll we get we will begin putting the lawsuit together i hope you don't listen you can't be stupid and you're a fucking retard jose m de castro aka chili from delete law uh you heard mr de castro testify about an incident in which i believe it is alleged you posted um that you were white knuckled with anticipation about so, a confrontation is, mm -hmm. is there uh, so, that you would like to um yeah. tell the so uh, he is referring to a public live stream. Uh, he also references we can do, that I uh, say we were tracking him like an endangered great white shark. What he is referring to with a public live stream is hyperbolic speech. So I have an element of humor. Um, it's quite candid off the rip. So I'm recounting this, and you know, to a certain extent, just like if you're chasing down a story, right? Yeah, you know, there was a certain level of like, you know, are we going to be able to do this? It's uh, sort of the gold standard if you're able to uh, take these uh, what they purport to be, uh, you know, from First Amendment protected activities and flip it around on them. This is the same, you know, sort of actually. <laughs> It is uh, the uh, behavior that I engaged in is was much more agreeable and non-confrontational than how they would engage the police, right? Like, you know, so it is perfectly legal for them to stand on a public sidewalk and pull out the cell phone and film an officer and tell him that he's a dirty pig and I hope he gets shot in the line of duty, which Mr. DeCastro and others have done regularly, right? All I did was stand out on a you know, public side, uh, sidewalk and film him and say, this is my brother. He's escaped from his uh, group home. Don't worry, guys. He's off his medication. And that was, uh, you know, number one. You know, because I knew that it would irritate him and it pressure tested him a little bit. He was not able to follow the same standards that he has applied for police and public officials when he filmed them. And number two, it diffused the situation for the numerous families and children that felt extremely harassed and threatened by Mr. Castro. He took his attention off of them and his attention and his attention for the remainder of the parade was then squarely on me. Uh, when I was asked to leave by police because it was causing a disturbance, asked, not ordered, because I was engaging in lawful activity, I did so without incident. And I do have a witness to all this as well. Mr. DeCastro, were you able...
able to email those documents to uh, the email address. You're muted. Mr. DeCastro, you're muted, sir. Okay. I will email those even right, right this second. I was just listening and taking notes. Respond. Okay. Um, and uh, can you just rattle that email? Rather off me that email address, or is there a way I can find it on here? Can we chat that email address? I already did, Judge. It's, it should be in the chat, Mr. Castro. Um, Ms. Peter, do you wish to present any additional evidence or uh, tell anything additional to the court? Um, I, uh, he also states that he was not threatening to come to my home when he drove to Massachusetts. He fled from Ohio from a warrant. He stated several times in public that he knew where I lived. I was lucky that he was not his father and that he was going to deal with me through legal channels because otherwise I would be physically harmed. Um, he had full intention of showing up at my house uninvited. He uh, solicited others for my address and did receive it. And um, it was actually Mr. Abrams who had to uh, convince him that that would be uh, ill-advised um, because he was fully prepared to show up to my house completely unannounced. Uh, what I did was I did publicize. I'm waiting right here for you. You're not going to get near my family or my children. Uh, but if you wish to serve me, then you know go ahead and do so. He never had any legal documentation to serve me. This was simply a um, a uh, intimidation tactic on Mr. DeCastro's part. You know, and obviously um, he doesn't respond well well when his uh, intimidation tactics kind of fall flat, as can be evidenced at the parade where he escalated to physically battering me in presence of police officers and several small children. He was indicating that he was going to appear at your home to serve you with a legal document. Yes, yeah, even though I mean he's not. He's legally entitled nor qualified. How did that communication, service. what form of communication? Um, so it was uh, Facebook, I'm sorry, YouTube live stream. And was that directed at you? Yep. Which video is that? Can you list the video, please, sir? I've never said that. Can you so list Mr. the video? Mr. DeCastro, Mr. DeCastro uh, I yes, said sir. at the outset that I want to hear from both parties. Sorry, I would ask I you to interrupt. I'm going to give you an opportunity to respond. So just yes, please, uh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just taking notes and I wanted to, sorry, I wanted to know which, no, which video. Is that buffering for you too, or is it just me? Yeah, it is. Okay, I wonder why that's doing that. Hold on. Do you want to say that? In? Okay. You know, I think so. He also referenced, you know, the video that I had said that I would, uh, you know, lawfully request to be court audio with his initial appearance here to try to uh, get it. Order ex parte, and that I would, uh, you know, do a video about it. I do believe in transparency. And of course, I would also point out that Mr. DeCastro actually audio recorded the hearing that took place in the Ohio Superior Court. Um, so I would also point out that Mr. DeCastro actually audio recorded that hearing. Hold on a minute. Um, without that court permission, to some of these several individuals, I have received it. So I'm already aware of what I'm hearing. I believe one point called one of the court officers to come back and intentionally wait until about 4:30 in the afternoon to get this order. so that uh, I would not have a chance to respond in his mind because he is he's not a resident of Massachusetts. Um, he's not a resident of the county. He does not live here at all. He's not familiar with our uh, protocols. Um, but uh, that was what I was referencing is that he had he was unable to contain himself within the courtroom in front of the judge and actually erupted into calling, you know, one of your court officers a scumbag. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, attorney, uh, Mr. DeCastro, do you wish to make any response to what uh, Ms. Peter just testified to? Sure. Sure. Uh, I mean, I Listen, uh, it, it's true that I don't like police. That's 100% factual. However, I'm not anti-government. I'm pro-government. I'm pro having a bill of rights and a constitutional standard. So that is true. But saying I'm anti-government is completely false. I'm for petitioning, assembling, and legislation. And then furthermore, I've never said I'm going to her house on a live stream. I would now redirect to the district attorney for perjury. She perjured herself several times just now. My... <laughs> I love that he's like district attorney. She perjured herself. Yeah, that her. was, that was like, there's a couple high points of this where I was just dying, and that was definitely one of them. Where he literally is like, I would like to refer to the, to the district attorney for perjury right now. Like, do you do you really think that that's gonna happen? <clears throat> yeah, as if he didn't just perjure the shit out of himself. <laughs> Right, 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 right. Yeah, especially where he's like, I've never said her name in public before. I never said I was going to serve her. Like, I never did any of, like, they, that's an absolute lie. Absolute lie. Yeah. Yeah, somebody just says right here, James is, James is right. I'm a statist. Yeah, he admits it. He admits it right there. He's like, I am pro-government, <laughs> which is fine, but then maybe you should stop trying to cozy up to people that aren't. <laughs> like, you know. Um, I love that he's so anti-police and then in the, his court hearing where he tried to get the order, he was like, I, I went to police no less than three times and said, please help me, protect me. 
Right, 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 right. My God. All right. I think the buffering is because the playback speed was too, too fast. So I just, I killed that. You guys sound so funny fast. Home address is on her Discord. My home address is on her Discord account in California. My son One thing that I was wondering, uh, because it, his phone does that a few times uh, while he's, that's the Zoom call. It kind of like clips out almost like there's a call coming in or something. I couldn't figure that out. That was really weird that that was happening, but something was happening where, you know, he was having an interruption with his audio. The whole thing is just grimy because like literally he's recording this and I believe he was streaming it to Signal. Um, and then, you know, he's called out on it, insists that he's not, you know, streaming it. And obviously he was, but there was something else going on where it was actually interfering with his audio. At the time I thought it was the streaming, but now I'm seeing that he was streaming it on a different phone. So I'm not sure what that was, but. Yeah, that is weird. He was probably trying to record it on his phone on while streaming from the other phone. Which she should have removed. It's, it's doxing me. And then a, a, a credible threat of violence. I've, I've never threatened her with violence ever. I, I want nothing to do with her. I, I didn't ask her to follow me around. And this idea that she has a First Amendment right to automate, I am not a public figure. And it's clearly defined what a public figure is. And that's not me just because I have a YouTube channel. I've announced that one day I'm going to run for governor, but that doesn't make me a public figure because I've never read campaign funds and I've never started a campaign for governorship. That would make me a public figure. I haven't done that. And then, uh, but you know, the idea that she's tracking my movements, they posted where I'm at in Ohio. Then she says, we're tracking him. It's not funny. It, it, if I, I'm tracking Zachary Hillman, like an endangered great white, we know his every move. That's not funny. That, that causes intentional infliction of emotional distress. And then, hey, I didn't ask her to drive down there white knuckled. I didn't ask for that. She came down there to cause a purpose confrontation, which is what she One thing I want to, uh, want to kind of impress here with this uh, constitutional law scholar is the idea of a public figure, right? Because he will repeatedly say that he's not a public figure. So I do want to read the legal definition of a limited purpose public figure. So this isn't quite like a, a public, so a, a straight public figure would be a public official or another person who's pervasively in, involved in public affairs, um, actors, uh, you know, prominent uh, attorneys and high profile profile cases, you know, um, prominent judges, uh, public officials, politicians, all that. A limited pu a purpose public figure are those who have, and I'm quoting here, thrust themselves to the forefront of a particular public controversy in order to influence the resolution of the issues involved. Ooh. That is literally what he purports <laughs> to be doing, right? He literally is thrusting himself to the forefront of public controversies, such as James Sheets, the issue of Terry versus Ohio, um, the uh, you know the Christy Roan, these, these these cases. He is thrusting himself into the forefront of these issues and these controversies with the expressed intent to influence the resolution of these issues, right? He himself defines it as a limited purpose public figure. He's just too stupid to know that, right? It's just when it suits his purposes. Right. And then there's also the idea of the involuntary public figure uh, as the result of some sort of publicity. So even though the person wouldn't want or invite the public attention, um, you know, such as like, I don't know when the Ironton Tribune wrote about him, right? Um and uh, you so know, he's also, like he's a bifold of the definition. He's right. got two. Yeah, and 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 also you know another way that you can become a limited public figure is engaging in sort of actions that uh, generate publicity within a narrow area of interest, right? So like you know gaining some prominence and and some some attention in the one A auditing community on YouTube would make you a limited public figure. So he's all the a way tri around, there's no there's no question about this, right? Yeah, it's a trifold right here. It's a trifold. It just was really irking me the way that he, I mean, he really couldn't, couldn't, he, I don't think he could define what a public figure is, um, you know, for what he's talking about anyway. The guy's just such a, I, such a, I don't think he can define very much. <laughs> right. She did. She came there to make a video about me to make money. Richard Castro, 
you just cut out. You just cut out. So I would ask that you repeat about the last five seconds of what you just said. I said, if you're tracking me and you're posting where my whereabouts are, this isn't something they're just doing through my live stream as i proved a moment ago he just crossed over the maryland border i wasn't that that's incredible that's that's incredible dear herself to the court and try to say that rude to a cop at the court i'm rude to a cop like cops I, that's my right now i can't move into violence or project violence and then she said that i said that i wish the cop would get shot that's that's not true. That's absolutely incredible. That's incredible. And then, and then she says, um, um, it, it's, it's that the only thing I've ever said, whether it have been harsh or not, and used Cohen versus California from 1971, which gives me the right to free speech, I didn't threaten her in any way, shape, or form. It clearly shows the veracity of my emotional state when I'm saying, leave me the fuck alone. Stay away from me. She, she, make, she makes videos about me every single day. I'm, I don't, she doesn't have a right to First Amendment audit I, I know that she's, I, I, listen, she just doesn't understand it. You're, you're not allowed to harass and stalk someone. And whether she endears herself to the court or not, case precedent is clearly established. Three or more times she's mentioned my location. She's posting an account, my location. So that is true, but saying I'm anti-government is completely false. Case precedent is clearly. He loves his precedent. I think it's always a good idea to uh, tell the judge, you know, what's clearly established in the law, because assuming that the judge doesn't know is a really good move. I like it. Yeah. No, it's judges great. enjoy that. And the entire time, he's throwing up case law that is like, largely unrelated to the issue at hand. He just doesn't understand. He takes very small determinations out of these cases. Like, you don't need to be physically harmed for it to be harassment. And he pulls it out of context, cherry picks it, and throws it on this and, and believes that he's going to convince, you know, an actual sitting judge uh, that this is this is how he should interpret the law as well, right? Like, which is just not, not, not going to happen. Didn't Nothing he happened. submit like 47 pages of case law as if the judge had no idea about law? Yeah, it must have been because he said that, yeah, we'll get to that. But he says that he has 47 pages of uh, evidence and I only got 10. I only got 10. So that was weird. But yeah. Established. Three or more times she's mentioned my location. She's posted account my my address my phone number that's going to go right that's, that's going to go directly to commonwealth versus walters she doesn't have to scare me physically or threaten me with physical damage according to agus versus howard johnson 1976. the tracking of me in commonwealth versus brennan clearly states that when she lists where i'm at more than two times that is stalking that is criminal stalking and in the 1971 case of george versus George versus Jordan Marsh, extreme conduct. Remember, remember court, I don't know this person. I've never been friends with her. We've never worked together. She, she admits to calling one person, but it's incredible. She's called Seth. <laughs> then on her, called my mother, a fat fucking bitch. I don't understand that. I don't know who her mom is. I wouldn't call her mom that. I don't understand it. It's it, you know. I love when he gets so frustrated. He does the oof, oof. You're very quiet. Uh, how about now? Is that? Okay. I don't think that I'm having like, oh, oh, I don't know. This is weird because I'm like right in front of my router and I'm having issues. I don't think I'm being DDoSed, but it's a little bit strange, but this should be better, right? Yeah. Much okay, good.
Yeah, no, I mean, he would. He absolutely would insult my book. Like, and he's taking it out of context again, because I believe that the comment that I made about his mother's weight was that he kept calling me fat. And I, I just, you know, gently reminded him that his mother is a large woman. We don't all start out this way, but a lot of us end up here. Maybe he should watch his fucking mouth. That's that's what I was talking about. But, yeah, you know, Chili doesn't do context. He just doesn't do context. No, if you call someone else's mom fat, you get a harassment order. So everyone on elementary school playgrounds Boom, harassment order, federal yeah, lawsuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've made a yo mama joke in the past, you're going to jail right now. Going to jail. And federal <laughs> lawsuit. You're done. You're yep, done. Yep. See you. You're done. You're done. Get him out of here. Hook him up. Hook him up. You know, and then all of the, the, the defaming comments she's made about me. You know, if she, if she has endeared herself to another person on YouTube who's going to try to disparage me, it just goes to show there's no limits, no boundaries to what this woman will do to harass. It's incredible. I've laid out clearly the case law. I've laid it out clearly. I've listened to hundreds and hundreds of district cases and Supreme Court cases. I have proven my case beyond a reasonable doubt. This person and I should have no more contact. She should not make videos about me. I should not make a video about her. We should part amicably. She should go on about her life and do whatever she wants, but harassing my family, my friends, and me. And you guys just saw on my live stream, Kate always wins over and over and over the mass calling of my phone when I'm on live stream. That proves in Common World versus Wotan that she is actually harassing me. More than three calls is harassing. More than three. Now, if she's using Google numbers or alternate numbers, who else is calling my phone hundreds of times during my live stream? <laughs> my it's God! Her. It's her. My God! She's the one harassing me. How does he think phone her. calls work? He cannot this physically get hundreds of phone calls at the same time. This dipshit doesn't understand. Like, people don't like you, Chili. I think we, I think you've. I think he's picked that up by now. They're, they're, like some people just don't like him, okay? Or they might think it's funny. They might they might think it's funny that he reacts the way that he does. Either way, you put your fucking number on the internet. Like, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Seriously, he thought people were going to call and invest in his app, right? Yeah, I mean, I just it's unbelievable that he as 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 I it's incredible, incredible. I'm gonna do my chili impression. Incredible that you can't figure out why you're getting all these phone calls, chili. Incredible. <laughs> I didn't ask for any contact with her, I, and I and I never have. But this, I you know, and then I think the district attorney should be made aware of the perjury she just committed. It's trying to paint me in a light as though uh, uh, I'm some danger. And I don't have anything like that in my record. Matter of fact, the, the only conviction that was listed in my record was disorderly conduct from when I was 19 years old. That was that was almost 30 years ago. I mean, so so you know, I am a man of law and order. I believe in rule of law. I believe that America has lost its way and we're not living by a constitutional bill of rights standard. And that's all I'm trying to do. I do not wish on police, I don't like them. But I, I, I'm, that's my right not to like her. We, our prison system's out of control. So, you know, I'm not a public figure. New York Times versus Sullivan. I'm not a public figure. No matter how this person tries to interpret, she's incorrect in her data. It's not true. I'm not a public figure. Now, don't get me wrong. Someday I'd love to be governor of... Uh, and again, you know, it's pretty clear that he is a limited public figure. Like that is, just, and the court rules. You know, spoiler alert: the the court rules essentially under that assumption, right? Because they they look at my speech and conduct and acknowledge that um, it is possibly you know protected by the First Amendment. Um, and the reason okay, I think uh, you highlighted your own comment, that's you. Kate Peters always wins. That's you. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. If anyone puts he just Kate testified Peters to that. Yeah, if anyone puts Kate, Kate Peters always wins in the chat, it you are me, just so that you know. Like, you are me then. Yes, he's a man of law and order, and his channel is named Delete Laws, with a Z. Because he doesn't even care he's about legit. the law. He doesn't care about the laws of spelling and grammar either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Don Moore. Don Moore is me. Yep. Yep, yep. Pete, Peter. Yep. Oh, oh. Nice try, Kate Peter. You take your last name and you turn it into your first name. We're all supposed to believe that it's not you. Good Ugh, job. Knew it. Can <laughs> yeah. you believe this? Oh, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did say it when he started smoking weed at 12. It shows, bro. It shows. But it's not It's not true. 
and the credible threat of violence is when you post the Airbnb house where I'm at. And then just so you know, to get that Airbnb house, which is on my video from that day on May 25th, I look in my review mirror and I say, I'm being followed. And then I take evasive action to ditch the tail. <laughs> unfortunately, they Your Honor, I am having <laughs> stimulant-induced paranoid delusions, and therefore this woman is harassing me. Nobody was fucking following you, Chili. Like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Jesus Christ. He's being followed. Now, this is the real question here. Is he lying for effect to the judge? Or does he really believe this because he is so hopped up on fucking amphetamines uh, or whatever? I think it's a little from column A and a little from column B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, in the chat, guys, real quick. Like, let's let's put our heads together. 1,400 people in the chat. Thank you guys for joining us. I don't know why you guys keep showing up to this shit show, but thank you. Anyway, give us a one in the chat if you believe that Chili's just bullshitting because he wants this order real bad and he's, you know, he's been lying anyway. This is just another lie. Put a chew in the chat if you think that he's not lying. He honestly does believe this because he is a heavy user of either cocaine or amphetamines. One or two. Let's see. Is it uh, is it vindictive perjury or is it drug-addled paranoia? You be the judge. A lot of ones here. A lot of ones. <laughs> oh. Maria like a <laughs> Maria thinks it's both. Yeah, so does Arrow Scout TC. A lot of people are like, it's both. I mean, that's a possibility. It's a, that's a possibility. Yeah, it's. I mean, we're pretty divided here. Yeah, Ronan says one plus two equals three. Yeah, I don't know. I I'm undecided myself. I'm undecided. I what I do know is that 110 percent without a shadow of doubt, this motherfucker was not being followed. Absolutely not. He was probably driving down a main route and someone was just going home and he's like, look, they're following. Right, 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 right. Probably like some soccer mom in a Ford, you know, escape. And he's like, it's, it's, it's the feds. White Ford escape following him. Yeah. Yeah. It's their cover. Is their family? Right, right. They followed it's, me midget feds in the back. it's on live stream. They literally were following me around because this woman put my information on her discord. And she can say that my phone number has been listed, but unless you're running a troll account with people called Trolly and Troll Troll and Double Troll, <laughs> Troll Chili, those are the names of their accounts. There's dozens of accounts on her Discord and dozens of accounts on her YouTube that use my name in that. It's not a stretch to know that when I go live, she's posting or someone's posting in their Discord account, and then they're harassing me which is a violation of Commonwealth versus Wooten from 2015. <laughs> I only had a day to really prep the, the cases. So. Sorry if I'm not a little slow. Uh, Madam Clark, have we received those documents? I have not. Did you send I, those I documents? I can't get to it. If you just, I just tell me if you need okay. All right, right, so this is what we're going to do then. Uh, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I am not going to make a determination until I see those documents. Um, What's your email? Send them now. <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> We're going. Uh, we're going to take a recess so that you can send those documents to the court. Um, and I'm going to recall this matter. How how voluminous how voluminous are the documents, Mr. DeCastro? I can get them over to you as soon as I have the email. Right. Does not understand the definition of the word voluminous. Not. He, he's like, how voluminous are the documents? He's like, oh, I can get them to you. I just need the email. Like that's not what he asked you. It's not even close to what he asked you. Please learn the meaning of words, Chili de Castro. And how does he not understand how to copy and paste an email address? Like, they put it in the chat on Zoom. He just had to copy and paste. Well, and he, he, like, he couldn't also, figure it out. He also can't figure out how to screen record, uh, you know, his unauthorized recording of this hearing like a normal fucking person. He's literally pulling the two phones. Like, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like this is just the like he is the king of one thing and one thing only. He is the He's king of fucking court boomers. Phone. Yeah, boomers. But I can't see it on here. I don't know. No, I understand that. I understand that. I'm asking. I'm asking how how many pages are we talking? Are we talking the PDFs or the videos? I can send you video links where she openly says she's tracking me, and then she. Yes, yeah, you know, we won't be able to see the video. Videos. We won't be able to see the video. My last, My last point, point is on June 1st, 2018, 2018 2022, 2022, she announced, she announced to her subscribers as she's streaming live, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, she announces that I'm driving, I'm driving down there, I'm checking, checking in with the Discord. Discord. Is, is he still, still there? there? That's, That's not, not a, a joke. joke. 
then five minutes, I'm five minutes out. He's not getting away. They're telling me he's still there. That's not parody. That's not funny. Mr. Hillman, if I did that to you or the, or, 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 or Ms. Hinkle, the, the previous judge, could you even imagine how it would go for me? Could you even fathom? Mr. DeCastro, how Mr. DeCastro, how many has he um, answered any questions? Is, is the PDF no. document that you're going to send? No. To Forty-seven. I'm just, just forty-seven. All right. <laughs> so then, what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to take a a, a recess so I can review the documents that you're going to send over, so that I can review the cases that you cited, um, and we're going to recall this matter at two p.m. Um, excuse me, I'm just to kind of. Uh, Make it easier on you when you're going through this uh, voluminous uh, document. I'd like to give you my Discord username so that you can see what I've posted because it sounds like Mr. DeCastro is vacillating between um, admitting that these are other people and then trying to attribute it directly to me. So I can give you my uh, YouTube uh, Discord. I mean, my Discord username here. We're also going to provide you, Ms. Peter, with copies okay. of what is coming okay, in. Sure. 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 So we will we will recall this matter at 2 p.m. That's okay. going to be, that'll be 1 p.m. Okay, okay, got it, got it. 2 p.m. Yeah. Eastern. Did you see how hard it was for him to subtract one hour? <laughs> no, did you see what he's literally, like the judge is, is about to, you know, break for recess and he's literally repeating to himself, case law, case law, case law. Like, shut the fuck up. You, you don't even know what the word voluminous means, Chili. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't surmise that you are able to properly read and interpret case law if you don't even understand the definition of the word voluminous. <laughs> Let's just be, Jesus Christ. Now listen to hey, what he, he does He saw it here. in a shampoo commercial, so he knows it means something. This is another one of my top favorite moments from this entire ordeal when, when the judge tries to break for, for recess. Listen to him here. This Ooh, is fucking, it is good. It's fucking so hilarious. Good. Fucking hilarious. Your Honor, in the meanwhile, Mr. Hellman, in, in the meanwhile, can you make it so that she can no longer harass me using these harassment proceedings? Because what she'll do is she'll go out right no, now. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not going, going to issue any order until I see the evidence that you're going to present. I'm, and I've I'm had an opportunity to review that. Valid. I'm saying for two nope. hours. I'm, I'm not, not issuing right. any additional order at this point. We will recall the matter at 2 p.m. once I've had an opportunity to review the materials that you're going to provide the court. Yes, sir. Two o'clock. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you Your Honor. Thank you. I'll um, end it for now. Okay. And when we have uh, uh, documents, we can provide a copy to Mr. Peter as well. <laughs> There I am in court looking a lot less fat than I did at the parade. So fuck you, Chili. I'm gonna check that. Okay. Your Honor, please going. take away her First Amendment right. She's gonna go on YouTube. Right. He doesn't really understand what it means, like what harassment means. Because if I'm posting videos about you, I'm not contacting you. Um, you know, I'm certainly not out here, you know, telling people that he's like a child molester or something that would incite people to actual like, you know, hatred, disgust, and violence. Yeah, I'm just reading off his criminal record and pointing out that he's a fucking putz because he's a fucking putz. Oh, it's so creepy too. Like, look at the way, like, he doesn't have to be filming and broadcasting me standing in front of the judge right now. Like, he doesn't have to do that. It's weird that he is, but that's what he's doing. No, in his mind, he does have to. Yeah, yeah. All right. Of course, now in session, you may be seated. Oh, it's going to get good. Yeah. Well, if it doesn't buffer. <laughs> you can just tell how irritated he is. Look at the pinky. He's so deaf. I'm Catherine Peter.
<laughs> it's like, right. oh, what is it, Zoolander? Yeah, the, the blue. I, I I call this look blue steel. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you know, he's, just... he's he's recording it and like on it, so he's looking at himself on like three screens right now. Yeah, and he's so mad. Like you could just tell he's so he he spent the hour that we were in recess just right, Mr. feeling uh, gnawing his upper lip clearly. Mr. DeCastro, can you hear and see us okay? You're on mute, sir. Okay, yes, yes, sir. I can hear and I can see you. Okay, sir. All right, thank you. Um, all right, we are back on record. Uh, Mr. DeCastro, thank you for providing. We did receive your exhibits. Uh, I did have the opportunity to review the exhibits, not only the exhibits, but the case law that you forwarded as well. So thank you for that. Um, I have a couple, having reviewed, and let me ask Ms. Peter, um, we provided you with copies of what Mr. DeCastro has also provided to the court. Is that correct, ma'am? I believe it's partial, possibly, or, but yeah, I mean, I have, I would say probably about 10 pages here. Okay. okay. Can I have, um, can I take the file? No, I forgot the file and um I'll get it over there. It's in the lobby, yeah. Here. 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 I'm sure. Okay. okay. Um, um Mr. Hillman, I didn't get I a chance. Reviewed... Go ahead, sir. I, I just didn't get a chance to bring in the, the witness who I have on hold and he I don't know this man. I only know him from online. He said himself he's received he was the, the target of Kate before where he received hundreds of phone calls, thousands from her. Okay, so here this <laughs> Guys, this is this is a great cameo here. So his his witness here that he has on, on the phone who doesn't get to speak because it's completely irrelevant and he is a greasy ginger delusional cunt that nobody wants to hear from anyway, is breaking the flaw Joe Orga. Now, Joe Orga, I have prank called a few times. I've never called him hundreds of times. He has never received thousands of calls from my followers. Like they are inflating my influence on the internet to such a ridiculous level that I should be flattered right now. I really should be flattered. I do not carry this kind of influence, guys. Like people are not just running around bothering people all day because they saw something that Kate Peter said on the internet. Like that's ridiculous. Um, and I did technically lure him to a bar. <laughs> that, that did happen. Uh, but it was just for about 45 seconds of, uh, you know, some public humiliation. He claims that I had thugs threaten him in the parking lot. I just want to make this clear. I show up to these things alone because I'm not a scared little bitch. So if I'm coming out and I'm going to film you and troll you and embarrass you, uh, nine times out of 10, I'm not bringing back up. If I am bringing no. back, hey, yeah. you are the thug. You don't need to bring thugs. You're the right, thug. right, right, right. I'm gangsta, yo. <laughs> no, but, but no, but seriously, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't need to, because I, first of all, um, I don't know a lot of people that I could rope into doing this ridiculous stuff with me. Like if I asked most of my friends or family, like, Hey, you want to go troll this uh, greasy ginger cunt from the internet with me? They'd be like, no, fuck off, Kate. You're insane. Right. Like just <laughs> no, like a lot of the time, like I'll, I'll slink off and like, you know, I'll tell my family something like, Oh, I'm going to run errands. <laughs> And the errand is that I'm catfishing someone at a uh, Barrett's ale house. <laughs> you know, I just, I leave that part out. Right. So like, I'm just being honest here. That's what I do. So like I show up alone. What happened was Joe Orgo lost his fucking shit when he realized that he was being catfished and he upset the patrons and the bartender at this bar. So there was a group of like, you know, kind of old, older guys that were hanging out at the bar. They didn't like the way he was talking to me and they pretty much kind of chased him out of the bar. I didn't know them. And the whole time, time to my credit I was going no guys you don't understand what's going on here I'm the asshole I catfished this guy but he was so intrinsically unlikable that these strangers spectating this event decided that he had to be the bad guy so they told him to get the fuck out of here so that's really what happened he wasn't threatened by thugs that I brought with me he wasn't even really threatened uh, the patrons of the bar and the staff just decided that they thought that he was uh, a danger to me which he wasn't and I uh, wanted to uh intervene that's actually what happened but he has told the story so many times that i honestly think that he believes that it's true at this point because you know there's a reason that joe orga and chili are friends i'll just put that out there her followers disrupted me during work lured me to a bar while i was in threatening a parking lot by thugs she posted my personal information including my number online that's a policy and practice sir and i actually have him on the line right now to tell you his story himself and this is the fourth person who I've tracked down that she's done this to. 
One of them, I believe, so, is in court there, so she, he will no longer be the focus of her ire. Mr. Uh, DeCastro, I have a, um, a couple of questions based on what you provided to the court. Um, so one of the documents that I have here, or, or one of the, the screenshots that you provided um, was what looks to be a screenshot of a message from Airbnb. Is that correct? Yes, that was my Airbnb host in Youngstown, Ohio, who I had become friends, I mean, fairly good friends with. I was there for eight days. We hiked together six days. And he got to know me as a person. I told him, my, my, I don't believe that America is living under rule of law, whether you show up uh, the, the exact law or not. <laughs> Nobody cares. We're living under whether we like you or not. And so after we, after we hiked together six days, he received that. He took a screenshot and sent it to me. He blocked out his personal information, but he's the one who blocked that person named Sean, who I am going to get a court order and I'm going to get from Airbnb and I'm going to file uh, against that guy for, for stalking. All right. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to read this into the record. So it says, I want, I just wanted to make you aware that your current guest, Jose Maria De Castro, aka Chili De Castro from California, has been live streaming anti police propaganda, various statements that could be interpreted as threats from your home. He is also in possession of a firearm, a 44 revolver, which he had brandished live on stream in your dining room. I'm not sure that this is the type of guest you want to host. You can view his antics in your home on his YouTube channel, Delete Laws. I felt compelled to inform you based on his erratic behavior and improper handling. And then it cuts off. So, um, Mr. DeCastro, the question I have for you is, do you know who sent this message to your Airbnb host? The name on the account is Sean. I have to file for a court order from Airbnb for them to give me that information. However, okay. I, do, I do have my host number. I can call him on the phone. He'll, he'll jump no, on that's, that. No, and the, the second question I have is, at any point while you were in that Airbnb rental, was there any sort of public information made about um, where you were located at that time? Absolutely not, because I had been being followed. I knew I'd been being followed. I announced it publicly. So I hid my location extraordinarily well. He's so delusional. I hid my location extremely well. No, motherfucker. super well. No street <laughs> signs, nothing. He didn't announce it at all. Like, I got to say, part of it is that, like, you know, the, the, the mass hole troll mafia hit squad here employs, <laughs> I shouldn't say employs, but uh, has, uh, you know, a, a group of people that are extraordinarily astute. They're very good at what they do. So, I mean, if you're live streaming, even down a stretch of fucking highway, these people can immediately be like, I know exactly where it is. And they do. It's it's amazing to watch. But, but like, he wasn't hiding like it's i mean if you were hiding your location extremely well nobody would know where you are like just point blank that's just how that works um i mean they were able to to immediately pinpoint where you are based on a public airbnb listing right like that's i mean you're terrible and you know well, and not he, only that the the maryland screenshot from discord he keeps throwing around he said on live stream that he was entering maryland and someone said he just entered maryland and he's like look they're tracking me yeah, because again and again, like you know, you're 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 broadcasting your location. You're not hiding extremely well. You do nothing extremely well, Chili, except entertain me. Be there except with the up. Mickey Mouse picture. Yeah. You can check every video I have over that time period. I specifically hid my location because I knew I was being followed, and I'm being followed. Right, so that at no at no point then, at, I just want to make sure that I'm clear. At no point did any person um, put or post anything publicly either on YouTube or some other means of communication that would indicate that you were in that location. Well, they did on Kate's discord. That's where they posted that. They, they, on they, where? They, did, they, they posted that on Kate's discord, on Kate's you own discord. Uh, discord account. They posted where I was, my location, a picture of the house. Uh, someone, okay. actually, someone actually physically followed me, sir. Followed me down okay. the street. And, let me ask you who posted on case discord that location a guy named sean it's in there it's inside of there and, and apparently okay. i'm going through the process with this to try sean. to find out who that person is okay all right 
Um, the second question I have was regarding uh, the evidence <laughs> Sorry, when it goes silent. Regarding the evidence that um, Ms. Peter was waiting in anticipation of a confrontation and that you were being tracked. Now, am I correct that um, the tracking language was in regards to you driving towards her residence to serve her with legal documents? No. No, not at all. Okay. In, in Ohio, no one even knew I was going to Boston. I didn't announce I was going to Boston. I didn't tell anybody. And then when they tracked me, I was actually leaving Boston. And Okay, and, and so let me ask you about that. that. I just want to make sure that I understand what the tracking language has to do with. So where, where was the tracking language being posted? It was being posted in Discord, and it goes all the way back to the middle of May. And then she tracked me again on June 8th, where she publicly announced, we're tracking him like an endangered great white, tagging him. We know his every move. Yes, she said it herself on June 8th. I've transcribed look at, look at those okay. fucking hand scribble notes. <laughs> okay. And did you see at one point, uh, and you posted that the on paper YouTube. and you can that see that it's on the as back as of another paper. On Discord. Yeah. It was, she said it aloud on her YouTube. And then it was posted on Discord. She, she's using two. She's using the two different social media platforms, which again is is going to go back to Common World versus Walters. You know, I've I've laid out the case precedent, Your Honor. And if this was you, sir, and you were being tracked like an endangered great white, <laughs> how are we? Are, are we stressing I'm, great white I'm, sharks I'm, out I by tracking? Sure that I have a clear picture of what <laughs> you're tracking. Court. And I just want to make sure that I've clearly laid out what the rule of law is, the case precedent is. This is my whole argument against the, the whole and, and what way? Oh, God, it buffers the worst time. <laughs> no, it's the best time. With, with, with respect to the tracking language, um, what did you understand that to be in regards to? So police, were, you, were you moving? Were you moving? Were you physically coming from Ohio into Massachusetts? I was actually leaving the Northeast when I was going through Maryland just night before last, and that's on the Discord which you have in that email where they say he's crossing over the Maryland border heading south. So they're tracking me all the time, 24 hours, no matter where I go or what I do. If I do turn on my camera and I show any part of the location I'm in, they'll tag it and put me on their Discord account. So I can be tracked. And she said, what, there's 1,600 people in there? That would put a reasonable person in fear for their safety. Of course. Hey, you of course it's data. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me ask Ms. Peter. Um, with respect to the tracking language that you just heard testimony. Um, first of all, uh, have you personally posted language regarding tracking of Mr. DeCastro? Um, no, no. I mean, we've, we've not, other than stating, again, hyperbolic speech and a hubris that we are tracking him like an endangered great white shark. Uh, but again, I mean, at no point did we indicate that we were actually physically tracking him. It's not 24 hours a day. That's impossible there's no devices being placed on him he broadcasts his location and actually while the court was in resource or recess i was able to pull up where he did indicate on the live stream that he was coming to massachusetts to serve me um, again he also had made statements at one point that he had my address and i was very lucky that he wasn't like his father or i would be physically harmed right i also pulled up some clips where he um makes not explicit threats but implicit threats he would shoot me in the head and i would be talking to god what was your statement regarding tracking him like a great white in regards to? Um, in regards to following around, well, not following around, but yeah, keeping tabs on where he was in Massachusetts. Across okay. the country. That's nice. Again, my statement was in regards to keeping track of where he was in Massachusetts after he had made implicit threats to show up at my home. I, okay. also, I would like to call my witness at some point too, because he can further elaborate on his plan to, again, come to my home unannounced while he is carrying unregistered firearms in his vehicle that were improperly stored after making implicit physical threats against my safety. That's not what this hearing I'll is about. Well, right.
I'm not on trial. I'm the one filing a complaint for her. <laughs> right. And that's real. when he realizes that he's fucked. That's when he, that, that is the moment that he realizes, fuck. Like, right, I have been lying about this this whole time. And now she has pulled up the clips and has them in her possession right now. And she is a witness that, that can uh, attest to all of this. And he just goes, well, I'm not on trial, though. Like, there is, it's not a trial. Not trial. It's not a trial at all. No one's on trial. It's a fucking hearing. It's dumbass. Like, Kate Peters is on trial. Yeah, the trials of Kate Peters. It's harassing. Oh, he looks mad. Oh, no. That poor upper lip, man. We have to start a GoFundMe for his upper Delete lips. <laughs> Yeah. So this is uh this is when the, the meltdown's gonna start right here. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they're gonna hear from you. Yeah, yeah. You can like feel it coming. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just making a few notes. On the phone this whole time. Yeah, now he's talking to Orga and he's like, Orga, nobody wants to hear from you. And Orga's upset even though this has been Orga's entire life is people telling them they don't want to fucking hear from them. So what's new? Not much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is someone playing something? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm so sorry. Someone's talking on my. my I, I have a witness online <laughs> that just shows the policy in practice, so I have him here ready to 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 say something. He's just talking because he's upset hearing what he's hearing. He was also tracked. <laughs> Like a great white shark. <laughs> the policy and practice, like it's in the mass hole manual. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. Is that Barrington Maddox? No, I'm sorry. The name is Joseph Hart. The man, the man on the phone is named. There's there's four guys total, and okay. one of them is there to so that so he's not the focus of her attention. I would object to that hearsay, Your Honor. You know, Your, your Honor, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. So the question before the court is whether. As soon as you uh, said you objected, did you see up on behalf of uh, Mr. DeCastro against Ms. Peter? That is the question for the court today. Um, I'm taking a minute here. I'm making a few notes. Your Honor, this is her livelihood. This is how she makes money. Is by making a mock and again no my livelihood is uh sitting in an office eight hours a day monday through friday 9 a.m to 5 p.m uh this is what i do for fun although i do appreciate the generous contributions of all of our subscribers so that we can continue to do dumb troll shit <laughs> i just want to do troll shit with my friend that's the worst part of this is like you know like the more that you complain about the whole money thing that uh, fucking jose the more that we push it because it annoys you and then we take those funds and we roll it back into just more and more elaborate trolls <laughs> like it's just it's this is actually no, beautiful it's a no-win situation for you son um and all you're doing is helping stack up the resources for the next jackass that's out here trying to rip people off i'm so, sad that this tape didn't much. have the part where like he wanted the judge to make you give him six thousand dollars yeah yeah but i i when i get the full audio from the courts that'll be on there too yeah yeah mockery of other people that's what she does for a living and she's done it for a living for three years she was previously attached to a different channel called turtle boy and she had a, a sidekick where they did the same thing. I would to object people. to your relevancy. It's totally okay, relevant. Um, Ooh, somewhere out there, Turtle Boy is beating his tiny little dick angrily at being called my sidekick, Chile. <laughs> Mr. DeCastro, I, I, so I, I, again, the question before the court is, is based on the evidence that I have before me whether a harassment prevention order should issue um, against Ms. Peter. Uh, I'm going to ask the parties to just bear with me for a moment. I am making notes. I mean, I, I believe if I made 26 videos about you, Your Honor, I, you would get a harassment protection order against me. 
Probably right. not. I have, I have considered all of the evidence. That judge doesn't I seem have, bitch me. I am going to make um, my findings right now at this point. So uh, I'm not going to issue any uh, written order for the parties to the extent that the parties wish my findings, they can get him uh, via FPR um, and you can contact the clerk's office to do so. Um, the question before the court, as I have indicated, is whether a harassment prevention order pursuant to chapter 258E should issue. Uh, the question before the court today is whether, and the only basis uh, on which a 258E could issue based on the evidence that I've heard today would be whether uh, there's been a showing of criminal harassment pursuant to chapter 265, section 43A. Much of what has been reported to the court today uh, involves speech um, and conduct that could be considered to be protected under the First Amendment. And so the court is mindful uh, that any speech that would be considered um, as a basis for criminal harassment would have to constitute a true threat or fighting words. Um, I cite uh, ASR versus AKA 92 Mass App Court 270. Uh, so with that background, my findings are as follows. Uh, Ms. DeCast Mr. DeCastro and Ms. Peter do not know one another personally. Approximately 30 days ago, Ms. Peter began to post videos on YouTube uh, regarding Mr. DeCastro. She linked to these videos via her Discord account. She also posts messages uh, to her approximately 1,600 followers on that same Discord account. The name on the Discord account and the YouTube posts that she uh, reports under are mass hole reports. The Mark, purposes yes. of uh, Mr. Uh, DeCastro, I'm just going to ask you to um, let me make my findings he can't help uh, on himself. the record. Uh, the purpose of uh, Ms. Peter's posts regarding Mr. DeCastro is to highlight information that Ms. Peter believes needs to be shared with her audience. Several of Ms. Peter's reports and, and posts about Mr. DeCastro have cast Mr. DeCastro in a negative light. Ms. Peter posts regarding Mr. DeCastro have led several of Ms. Peter's subscribers to comment negatively via a chat function about Mr. DeCastro as Mr. DeCastro, who is also a person who broadcasts on a YouTube channel, broadcasts live. The court has received information and screenshots provided by Mr. DeCastro that highlights uh, these chat um, messages that have been provided. The court takes note that um, Mr. DeCastro has uh, categorize this as trolling, uh, and the court finds it uh, to be uh, consistent with what it understands to be trolling. You are a court-ruled troll. So right there, um, I just want to, I want to make it a matter of record uh, under the rule of law. It is. It <laughs> is. <laughs> that that uh, the court's decision did include that uh, Jose Maria de Castro is being trolled by internet trolls. That was actually that was actually determined and ruled by the court. So I just wanted to throw that out there because that was another one. Of, I think that was my favorite moment, honestly. <laughs> when when you have to go to court and have the court explain to you that you're being trolled. <laughs> Excellent. Just beautiful. Beautiful. It, uh, Mr. DeCastro has received numerous, uh, by his account, hundreds of phone calls since Ms. Peter has been posting about Mr. DeCastro. Mr. DeCastro's mother, family, and friends have also received numerous phone calls. The court does not find by a preponderance of the evidence that Ms. Peter made these phone calls or that she directed these phone calls to be made to Mr. DeCastro. The court finds that while Ms. Peter posts the videos to you, YouTube, she has not communicated any true threat or fighting words to Mr. DeCastro or directed that any threat or fighting word be directed at Mr. DeCastro. There has been one communication with Ms. Peter 
directly to one of Mr. DeCastro's investors, but the court does not find by a preponderance of the evidence that that uh, communication involved any true threat or fighting words. The court uh, has heard evidence that Mr. DeCastro was at an Airbnb rental in Ohio and his Airbnb host was messaged and uh, that someone from the name by the name of Sean uh, posted his location. Mr. DeCastro finds this to be concerning. Getting. I understand why he finds that to be concerning. Um, nevertheless, the court does not find that Ms. Peter posted that information or that she directed that information be posted. The court has also heard of an incident in which Mr. DeCastro was uh, claimed to be, have been tracked by Ms. Peter uh, in anticipation of a confrontation. Uh, that was Ms. Peter's words. The court does not find this reference to a confrontation to be a true threat or fighting words, uh, nor does it find it to be akin to the surreptitious setting of a GPS device on a vehicle. Uh, in context, the court finds that this statement regarding her anticipation of a confrontation to be in regards to being served with a legal document, and the court finds um, that this reference confrontation was anticipated to be verbal, not a physical confrontation. With respect to the tracking language, the court finds that this information was broadcast by Ms. Peter. Uh, it was broadcast in response or based on information that was um, broadcast by Mr. DeCastro publicly, and accordingly that that is not a true threat or fighting words. The court therefore declines to issue a harassment prevention order. I'm citing Kareem K versus Ida I, 100 Mass App Court 902, that's a 2022 case in support of my determination. The order is not going to issue. What are my appeal processes? Am I allowed to appeal? You certainly are, Mr. DeCastro. Um, you have a right of appeal. Um, my findings, uh, my findings are on the record. I put them specifically on the record in case you wish to appeal um, so that you have a thorough record of what I considered in my uh, legal determination. Um, you, can, I, you can consult the rules of appellate procedure as to how the, pro the appellate appeals process proceeds. And to the extent that you need to get a copy of the FTR or the recording, contact, you can contact the clerk's office and they'll provide you with that information, sir. So if I did this to you, Okay, let's see how it goes. I mean, we're not living under rule of law. You're just making things up as you go. You're just deciding because you don't like me and this woman's a big cop sucker. So, the Mr. Mr. DeCastro, it has nothing Here to do uh, with uh, whether I like you or don't you're like you. That I'm making my determination based on the law. And that's why uh, I put it on the record so that you can appeal it if you think that I'm incorrect. Okay, I sir? The, I think the court's a joke. That's what I think. What a joke, Joe. I mean, you're hearing it. You're hearing it. So that's a good way to end it. Yeah, they actually had to add, they had to cut the entire like Zoom call. They had to kill. They had to boot him, him off. They pretty yeah they pretty much had to like unplug to get him to shut the fuck up. So that was a uh, that was fun. We're not living um, under rule of law. But I do, yeah we're not. I do want to give Chili the the um, recognition and credit that he deserves for his resilience because check this out. I fucking died when I saw this. Do you know what he's doing now? So do you remember, do you remember um, a little while ago, he was on one of his, uh, on one of his little tirades and he's talking about all the wonderful things that he and Bobby Law are doing for people. And he talks about how they're, uh, they're going to make sure that everybody knows how to do a public record request, FOIA, all these different forms. Um, they're going to put it on the, uh, the website and that therefore you'll be able to download for every single state. So you guys look at this, look at this in his uh, mission for transparency and open records access for everybody. He's actually put the, uh, he's put the downloads on his website. That's a really good thing of him to do, huh? You think that's nice all in one place. This is great. So let's go to Alaska. And um, I think I want to do a, a FOIA request. I want to know how to, Oh my God, you guys look at what is this? He is, Okay. Oh, 
He's charging money. <laughs> 25 fucking dollars for you to download a form that you can get on the internet for free. And when I went here, um, when I went here, what I realized, um, is that it's asking you up to 48 hours to get the completed form via email. So it looks like what he's doing is he's, he's actually filling it out. Yeah. Now this is going to veer mm. into a very weird place for Chile because he's, I mean, obviously we know he can't even get through a harassment order hearing, like, you know, like a competent human being. And those are pretty simple. People literally do those every day. Like the way that, a harassment order uh, hearing generally works. The judge walks you through because most people come in pro se on both ends of it. It's a lot different than other hearings that you would see through the court, right? It's a lot more like, and he couldn't even follow the procedure and, and do that appropriately. But now he's going to be filling out forms for people. Um, and some of these forms, like a demand for the return of, uh, of property is kind of, that's, I mean, that's a legal demand. Can he be doing that? Should he be doing that? Probably not. Probably yeah, not seem legal. And it's definitely not worth twenty five dollars. It's not. These are literally forms that you can download for free. Right. In fact, like I I, I, I saw that and I was like, fuck. I'll just, and it's not even that they're forms. Like in order to do a FOIA request or a public information um, request, like a records request, you don't need a form. If you do, it's because it's an online portal that the particular agency has provided, but you just have to write a letter. It's very simple. Um, you don't need a different form for every state. There's different laws in every state that you're going to cite in your communication. But, you know, this idea that you need a very specific form is just entirely untrue it's, and misleading. Uh, but this is what Chili's doing. This has got to be like one of the, I mean, the hundred dollar posters that he sells, I thought were bad. This is probably worse, honestly. Yeah, this is, is this going to be part of his app? I don't know. Is this what he was raising money for Bobby Law to do? No, he's got case reports now. What, what is this? Oh, it's free. You should order some. At order least his free. report. Well, but again, they're, they're just commission reports. I mean, does that matter? No, it doesn't. You, you can look that up on your own. He doesn't know about Google. Yeah, but I mean, this is, this is ludicrous. This is a fucking scam, guys. My God. Can he legally be filling out forms for people for court? I mean... A, a public access, a public records request? Yeah, probably. I, I don't see why not. Um, a FOIA request? Yeah. A demand for return of property? And uh, I mean, I want to know what he's selling as a certificate of delivery. Like, what does that even mean? Like certified mail? Isn't that a dollar fifty? That's okay. Good night, sweetie. Love you. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Does he mean like ser ser like service or a, it's just, it's very bizarre. I'm going to Google that and see if maybe it's an actual thing. Excuse my ignorance, guys. Harry asked if he clicked on the higher prices on the options. What do you get? I think you get the same thing, but he considers the rest a donation. Right. Let me let me put the uh, link in the... In the in the chat here, if anyone wants to come up and discuss this before we kill the stream, you know, I, I'm going to try not to go over two hours. I can't do a four hour live stream a thon on a work night, but if anyone wants to come up. Yeah, I've clicked on the link. There's not much of a description here. Yeah, I'll click on the link. And all it, all it does is ask me to allow for 48 hours to get the completed form via email. I mean, what if I do a custom amount? Name your price. Right. And the minimum price is $25. So like you can't, I can't say like, you know what? I really need this, but I can only have $2. Like, nope. Nope. It has to be $25. Nope. $25. Like, what, a, what a fucking scumbag. Like they, 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 this is not worth $25. Not even close. No. And then you can also just contribute for nothing too. So that's good. Oh, Harry said something in the chat. I don't know what video he's talking about. What? 
he said to have you play the derp video, but they're all derp videos if he's in it. <sighs> oh, I know he's, he's talking about flat derp. Have you seen the flat derp video? I did, yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like the, the smell of a woman wall. Yeah, let me do that. All right. Yeah, actually, we're going on. Oh, now okay. yeah, we got people coming. My attorney's here. Sarah's here. Hi. I have Hi. the woman one on my YouTube. Hello, Hi. Kate. This is attorney Michael Finkelbaum, and I'm expecting payment for my assistance of counsel. We got two sustained objections, and you owe me $37,000. <laughs> you also owe me one destructible quadfold. And also, if you could help me out with records requests, I need $25 so I can go on Chili's new website. What a deal by now. <laughs> 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 Freaking bitch tits. <laughs> uh, we have Jason with us. Welcome, Jason. Hey, Kate. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Good. I'm Everyone good. on the panel gets federal losses. Just want to let you know you did very good on court. Oh, I thank you. All right. That's all anyone need, <laughs> needed. So let, I'll let you go. Okay. Thanks for coming up, Jason. I gotta go as well. I withdraw my motion to represent you, and until I get my destructible quadfold and also my Kate resistant sunglasses, I will be incog incognito. Oh, good. Right, yeah. well, <laughs> even if you leave now, you're all getting Thanks losses, for throwing so. a little racism into it, bitch tits. Go choke on a bag of dicks. All right. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> go, go choke on a bag of dicks, bitch tits. Um, dear Lord. Well, you come tonight. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah, everything about the... I mean, I'm not saying... Like, the, the hearing was... It was amusing. It was also just a gigantic waste of, of court resources and time. You know what I mean? Like, the, the courts are not... They do not exist uh, with the only... Like, they're not here to, like, sort of mediate these ridiculous online flame wars that people get themselves into and i am like the queen of online flame wars and i have learned this over time and experience um i have gone in and tried to get a, uh, a harassment order on someone you know over this internet bullshit once and i drug it out and it was ridiculous like i understand to a certain point but and i was never mad at the judge you know it's ridiculous well you would think you know given his uh his his permanent orders uh, for stalking that he has uh, in other places that he would know what the um, you know what constitutes stalking really in reality so trying to pull this kind of shit is, is just beyond but, but it was really assuming that he has any grasp on reality well like, you would have to have some sort yeah. of grasp on what's really going on for him to get that Oh, I just think he's a vindictive little cock which is what I think it is, honestly. I think that he probably knew from the jump that, uh, you know, like, he's not in any danger. I, like, you know, if he was really, like, if a reasonable person, okay, so he claims that he's being stalked and tracked, and that would put any reasonable person in fear, okay? Let, let's go with that and say that he is reasonably in fear. Why the fuck do you continue to broadcast your location, then? Like, I mean, if I really feel like people are following me and I am in danger, the first thing I'm going to do is not broadcast my location anymore. I'm going to really make a concerted effort to hide that. You know, if if uh, if getting unsolicited phone calls from strangers really really upsets me, then I'm going to you know probably change my phone number and then make a concerted effort not to recite it out loud in public ever again. These are not things that he ever did. You know, I mean, his own behavior would really indicate to me that he was never in fear and knew he wasn't in any fear. He just, he was angry at me. He wanted me to shut the fuck up. He can't stand that I criticize him, especially because I'm a woman. And uh, he wanted to do whatever he could to shut me up. And he really, truly believed that he could manipulate the courts into doing so. Who is this? <laughs> Hi, Chili. Hey, kid. Hey. Nine. Concern, concern, Nine. Hey, 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 what's up? Uh, concerning the legality of the site, I think what he's doing is he's not actually hosting the forums because it's 48 hours. So I think he's probably advertising it as more of a service, right? That's probably, it's. I mean, it's unethical, obviously, but. 
It's not like yeah. you're paying to get that form right away. It's not hosted on the site. Well, no, I think he's filling out the forms for people. That's what's happening. Oh, he's got, oh, he's filling them out too. Okay. Yeah, because he's saying he's saying wait forty or you have forty eight hours to get the completed form. Now I could be reading that wrong, so like don't quote me a hundred percent. I mean, there's a certain amount of interpretation at play here, but I'm interpreting that. Uh, completed form bit oh. as him actually going and filling out your fucking form. Oh, well, then that's, yeah, then there's some, probably some. I wonder if yeah. That's I don't legally wanna, sketchy. I don't want to pay him, but I want to see, like, so if I, if I go in, can I, like, what am I getting here? It said he's, there's no description or anything. No, so I'm going proceeding to check. I'm not. I'm not paying the schmucks. But. Oh, hang on. Why didn't you ask him to um, get the court recording of your trial that you just did? Ask him to look up his own. Wasn't a trial. It was a hearing, and I don't need him to do that. No, that's not. That's not a product, though. You know, like these products are, are very specific forms. Either a FOIA request, a public information request. Or, okay, uh, so ask well, ask him for the the uh, recording, the official recording of the hearing. Right, that would I mean that wouldn't even be a public record, um, public uh, records request at this point because it goes through FTR. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not going to actually order. I was seeing if there was some sort of field here because I'm just thinking if if he is actually completing the forms, then you would think that there would be somewhere where I would where I would have you know sort of like. I would be telling him what I want him to FOIA for me. I'm not really seeing that. The only thing I'm seeing here is order notes. So I'm not sure. Either way. Perhaps you he, don't get that box until you place the order. I'm not placing the order. I don't think so, honestly, because this is sort of like once I once it goes out, it goes out. I don't know. I guess... If you look at both options here, neither one of them look that good for Chili. Because one of two things is happening. Either he is literally charging people $25 and above for, for these forms that, you know, you can get for free online at any point. I mean, frankly, if, you're, if, you're, if your information request requires an actual form, it's because the agency is providing that form. So, so on one hand, we can just assume that it's just blank forms that he's selling for $25 plus a piece, and you're getting something that is literally worth $0 and zero cents. Or conversely, that he is charging $25 plus for, to have him fill out the form for you, uh, which again is, is questionable uh, at best as far as the eth ethics and legality of that. Um, right. And still is definitely not worth $25. I mean, honestly, guys, like if anybody out there needs a public records request and you really can't figure it out on your own, like email me at info at massholereport.com. I'll put it in for you for free. Not a big deal. Really. It's not going to take me very much time. <clears throat> Ridiculous. Yeah. And with the here. fields here, I mean, he's just what? Putting your name and address in? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> you probably do a bad job. Oh, Chili, 110%. I mean, Chili doesn't even know how to pull public re records. I've never seen him pull a public record in his life. I do it all day and all. I mean, case in point, you dumb son of a bitch. You thought I wouldn't find the GHB charge, and here we are, because I pulled the public records. Huh. But seriously, if anyone needs public records done, uh, depending on the volume of the requests that I get, you might have to give me a couple days, but I'll do it for free. In fact, I'm doing it for free for somebody, another YouTuber, uh, he had called me about it earlier today. And I was like, yeah, he wanted to pay me. And I was like, no, you're not paying me for public records requests. Are you fucking kidding me? They're public records requests. The only thing that I honestly no, I wouldn't even say that right now, guys, we have a freaking troll fund. So the nominal cost that it, that it uh, takes to uh, get records back sometimes, if my subscribers need it, we have a whole ass fund for that right now. I think there's like uh, 200 and well, there was $280 in that PayPal. I think there's a little bit more now because we've gotten a couple things in here. So, like, we got money for records requests. I'll eat that cost. I'm not going to charge people for that. That's unconsciousable. You know, public information is public information. It's for everybody. You don't need to monetize that. Chili, you're a terrible person. On that note, with monetizing things, we are getting closer to the uh, – Two hour mark, and I got to work in the morning. So I'm going to read off some super chats and then call it a night, guys. Uh, hey, 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 Kate, hey, can I talk for a minute? Oh, sorry. Yes, yes, Chili DeMillo. I love you there, Kate. You're awesome. Thanks, Chili. Hey, you are too. Holy crap. You got 1,200 people watching. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. I'm so Look at that. 
I mean, there's Hellfire in the chat, and Michelle, and, and Nine Nine. I like Nine Nine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, I'm not gonna take up a long time. Nine's on there too, and for Shizzle. Whoa, she's got a voice. Hey, Kate, congratulations on your kind of two wins against Chili. Thanks, other Chili. I watched the one yesterday, or oh, Friday. Oh boy, Chili was going to pop a top. He's going to be like me. He was going to explode like an exploding squash pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, he was pretty upset. You're right. Chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he like runs away all the time from whenever he gets in trouble. I don't know where he's going next. But anyway, hey, I just wanted to say hi and congratulations. Because we haven't talked. Man with a mic told me to come on and give you <laughs> congratulations too. Yeah, that son of a bitch. That son I mean, of a bitch, that man with a mic. I know, but he's a, such a demon dude. But he loves you too. He's got a place in hell for you. You ever want to okay. come? <laughs> Chili I do, I do. wishes you were here. But anyway, <laughs> congratulations. And you need to pitch your 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 your, your pedicure fund. I'll donate if you put a link up. Okay, it's, thanks, thanks. Because because Josh said you need a pedicure. He did Buzz say that. Uh, he did that a couple times. Yeah. Okay. Good luck with your stuff. I love it. Later. Okay. Thanks, other chili. That was fucking weird. <laughs> All right. So thanks. All right, guys. Let's do this. So you're real great for two dollars. Said you you did such an awesome job. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Jeff Sanders for 1999 said Frog did a great job. Yes, he did. I don't even know how he got that, honestly. I suspected and was told that Chili was recording, but I had no confirmation, and Frog pulled that confirmation. If you haven't checked out his channel, highly, highly suggest that you do. Please do. Uh, Jeff, for another 499 Bravo, Kate. Thanks, Jeff. Mel, for $1.99. How is that email not, not proof that he is vexatious? No, I know. I know. When he says, I, I don't care if I win. I just want you to hire an attorney and I'll and drain you up. Right an agreement. That sounds pretty vexatious, but we, they, to be branded a vexatious litigant, it really has to be repeated, completely meritless court filings. It takes a really hard, long time. It's hard to establish that. So that's why. Oh, N-A-N-A, -A -N -A, my man, for $6.00. And 66 cents. Hi, little Satan. Hi, I'm in West Roxbury. I dig what you do. I'm glad you're in West Roxbury. That's not too far. Let's hang out sometime. Let's do it. I always, I'm always happy to meet people off the internet. Uh, knock on wood, I haven't been murdered and skinned yet. So that's pretty good. Uh, Wooderson for 1999. Kate, you're a saint, a gentlewoman, and a scholar. I am none of those things. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. I'm really none of those things. Um, and here's to the fight against DeCunstro. Deconstro, that's a good one, actually. I like that. I want to use that. Oh, that's a new one. Thank you for the 1999 and the new nickname for uh, for Chili Wooderson. That was pretty good. Ed2276 for $20. Chili is anti the current police who hold him to account when he breaks the law. He's pro police of his own creation to enforce his will on others when he obtains executive powers. Correct. That is, he is the definition of a status. He will be president. Jeff Hart for five dollars said this is the one and only true problem he has. People are making money off of him and not sharing it with him because he can't scam anyone anymore. Yeah, he does seem and you know, we've obviously inflated how much we've made by a lot. Uh, <laughs> like a lot, a lot. Uh just because it pisses him off. I mean, that troll is up. And you, you know the best part of this is like I, I've now announced this. The next time that somebody comes along and starts complaining about money and we start, you know, making up these ridiculous dollar amounts of donations that, you know, conveniently no one can see, like the next person will believe it too. That's just who we're dealing with here. So for um, Stephen Halley for $2 asks, did he find the trackers in the car exhaust yet? No, luckily he hasn't. Uh, somebody's following him though. Doug D for $20. Keep on keeping on. Thanks, Doug. Frank Perry for two. He is the poster child for Coke paranoia. Yeah, I, I would agree. Barry G for four ninety nine. Chili demands redirects to prosecutors like Michael Scott declares bankruptcy. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. Character holding twenty dollars. Is this guy a P or someone or a PO or someone you could sit down and convince? Um, I I'm not sure what a PO is. Sorry. 
Uh, Perrin for five dollars. Is he supposed to be broadcasting this hearing? Is that legal? No, um, the courts warned him not to. They don't really enforce it, but he's really not supposed to. This would be the second time that he's done, and they're not going to do anything about it. He could be held in contempt, but I, I doubt that that's going to happen. Gia for forty nine ninety nine said, "You are a beautiful, strong woman. Everything she really wishes he was." <laughs> oh, yeah. someone it's said it. True, though. I do sense a little vagina envy coming off of Chili. Jeff for five dollars says Kate is whip smart. Oh god, you guys are too nice. You're too kind. Too kind. Tom for four ninety nine. Chicks rule. I would agree. People rule. Mass holes rule. Trolls rule. Jeff Hartz for five dollars. I am Kate. I am Chili. I am Sean. I am Spartacus. I am the Great White Shark. I am Gary Coleman. Just in case Chili says Gary is involved somehow, <laughs> Jeff, don't tip him off to who's in our in our game. <laughs> People for two dollars just to irritate chili. You have, I promise worth you that. It. It's worth every penny. Uh, Jackie Joe, fifteen for ten dollars. Thank you. And five dollars from Baltimore Joe. Five dollars says both judges got curious and have logged into the stream. They are both laughing their asses off. Yeah, I know that the uh, the Hopefully. bailiffs subscribed because they said that they were going to. Yeah, yeah. Don't say they that bailiffs. now. He's gonna say you're a government plan. I am a government plan. I also want to thank. Um, all right, I want to thank uh, Devil's Advocate for 25. Thank you very much, Devil's Advocate. Rock on. Uh, Nick for $5. He says, driving him absolutely crazy. We are. Uh, Shane for 25. Thank you, Shane. Um, no message on that, Shane. I appreciate that. You guys rock. I, I, I will say this. Uh, from the last round of uh, Troll Fund donations, we're going to get some answers from someone on the MMA career. That's all I'm going to say right now. That's what we're doing. And Elizabeth yes. for $5. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Elizabeth. I try. Uh, we're trying to improve. So, yeah. I think I'm going to buy that uh, that software that I was looking at the other day, too. I was going to use it for the last court hearing audio, but I couldn't figure it out. But I'm like... I feel like maybe I'll take the time to figure it out now because I really want it. It'll make a good video. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us. It's been fun. Um, I, I do have somebody else, like I said, on the radar. I think that you guys are really going to like him. He is a Bitcoin scamming incel. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Oh, boy. Who, um, who has taken like, people for, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. Just like Chili. He, there's a lot of similarities uh, with Chili. He's like a little bit of a rougher Chili. So I think that he's going to be some fun. I'm doing some research on that right now. Um, I also have a couple uh, couple political groups that I'm kind of side-eyeing right now. Uh, we're working on some more sort of public trolling. You know. Yeah. Good nature. Cool. Yeah, but uh, I some think we're going to... We're going to start going out in the field a little bit more and, and taking things to uh, to the next level and kind of pressure testing some of these situations and seeing, uh, you know, maybe once in a while we'll do something good for the world, but probably not. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, keep yeah. an eye out for that, guys. Um, I do want to know, so if you guys can leave a comment sort of uh, on the replay of this because I am going to end it. Um, would you guys like us to do some more deep dive videos rather than just endless streaming? Because I, I want to be able to do that. The issue is that, like, if I'm working on editing videos, especially deep dive videos, then I'm going to have a hard time streaming as much because, you know, like time restraints. So I, I just if, if I can get a good feel of what people are kind of looking for and the best way to get some of this information out and the most fun that we can possibly have, that would be great. Um, I also want to drop the Discord link, I think, right? Because we always... The Discord link in the uh, description is always out of date. So if you're not in our Discord already, I don't yeah, mean... Yeah, 9, nine has been dropping that, like, every oh, few minutes. Nine, nine. Oh, yeah, I drop it every five, ten minutes. Okay, yeah. so, yeah. Nine, nine's I, will, I will say, Kate, that I do love a deep dive. Yeah, I do, too. I like doing them. I like doing them. They just take some time because it's a lot of, like, you know, recording and, and then editing and... You know, the, the quality is definitely better. I should just, I sound lazy when I'm even talking about it. I should just do it. But We can do both. I, I, well, I can't do as much streaming if I'm doing editing videos and recording them and stuff because of the, like, the time. I can do editing and stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll work that out behind so. the scenes. 
Um, so if you guys, if you haven't joined our Discord, not to brag, but it is a little bit notorious and legendary right now. Um, it is a head squad. It's, it's the Troll Mafia. It's very nefarious, dangerous stuff. So if you like danger, join our Discord because that's where we'll be. It's that's a cesspool. It is a wretched hive of villainy and scum. <laughs> so on that yeah. note. I'm going to kill the stream because I got to get off to bed. I got to work in the morning. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Thank you for your generous contributions to the Troll Fund. Um, as always, any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, you can go ahead and leave that in the comment section. I do read your comments. I read every single one, and I enjoy them very much. And thank you guys for coming, and we will see you next time. All right. Bye. See you guys.